there is no wiping that smile off the face of Paige Van Zan at 20 years old, making the aforementioned UFC debut here tonight. She's a good, solid wrestler with developing strikes when she gets on top of people. Very aggressive with her ground and pound. Fighting out of Reno, Nevada, 12 gauge, Paige Van Zandt. I still love to cook on my off time, off season. I cook all my own meals. Um, I'm very blessed that I, that I do know how to cook because I see these guys struggling and eating the, like raw vegetables and I know that doesn't taste good. So I, I love that I can cook meals that you can't eat while you're cutting weight. I like different seasonings. I play around with different flavor combinations. I don't know, it's just I know how to make things taste good. You like chicken tacos, huh? I take my puppy for walks. He's uh, he's my baby. I go down to the river. I ride my bike around. California is beautiful. I'm blessed that I get to live in such a beautiful state and place. So I get to ride my bike everywhere. <laughs> Team Alpha Male's been awesome. There's a lot of really, really like really big personalities. I knew that they had champions, and I I want to be a champion. And if I'm training alongside champions, then I get to see what it takes. Once I found fighting, I, I knew I needed to follow in Rhonda's footsteps. I, I saw her career develop um, from the ground stages. Rhonda has really opened the doors for MMA, women's MMA. Uh, Dana said he would, there would never be women in the UFC, and because of Rhonda, there now are. And I have to be completely thankful for her. And if she wouldn't have created such an amazing 135 division, then it wouldn't have opened the doors for the 115 division. So when I got the call that they were taking the uh, straw weights to be on the Ultimate Fighter, it was just, I was in complete shock and I knew our, our time was coming. I actually have the first finish in the strawweight division, which was really awesome that I got to hold that title. I was hit with emotion. It, I just completely collapsed first. It was a dream come true. I mean, I made a lot of sacrifices to be where I am. Obviously, I moved out and on my own since I was 18, I kind of left everybody behind just to make this a career. So everything really finally paid off for me. Girls, um, I fight more emotionally, definitely. So we'll go in there ready for a war where our guys can go in and hug it out between rounds or in the middle of a round where I don't think you'll see that with the women. We go in there and we wholeheartedly are gonna go at you and wanna win. And I think that's great and especially for that 15 minutes of a professional fight to go in there and fight your heart out and then after the fight, yeah, let's be friends. <laughs> I really hope to inspire young girls, especially being someone who is very bullied and um, I had to quit high school because it was so bad. Part of me wants them to see all my successes just to show that they couldn't break me. But I want to be just a voice and I want to show girls no matter how bad it is, there, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. There really is and um, whatever what happens in uh, middle school and high school, those sorts of things, it may seem like your world is crashing down, but there, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and there's gonna be good things that come from those traumatic experiences. There's just something about fighting, it just makes sense for me. I do it because of the fun, the thrill behind it, the adrenaline. I guess I'm an adrenaline junkie. I've gone skydiving, I like the more fast-paced sports, I rode dirt bikes. All of those sort of things. I needed something where I could be very competitive and it could be solely based on my skill and not, a not the team. Didn't get fight like a girl when I was growing up. I got like ride dirt bikes like a girl or <laughs> different things like that. But um, I was always rough and tough. So fight like a girl, I mean, look at, look at everything we've done though so far. So it can't be anything but positive. Thank <laughs> you.